Hello friends, welcome to my channel Pharmacy International. Today's video is one of the most demanding videos that is related to study references for the evaluating examinations. As many of you people have commented me on YouTube as well as you messaged me, messaged me on my Instagram profile that kindly make a complete video for the study references or books that are required for the PEBC evaluating examination. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Number one and main reference for PEBCEE is RXTX online and this is one of the references which is given on the official website of the PEBC. What this RXTX contains, it is containing online books that are CTC, CTMA, CPMA and all. So here is a look of these this particular RXTX access, how this will going to look. Number one is CTC, that is Compendium of Therapeutic Choices. It is one of the books, as the name indicates, it is comprises of all the therapeutics. Means, what is the first choice of the drug? What is the second line of the drug? Apart from that, this particular book have many other things, how to approach for a particular scenario according to the situation. Next is CTMA, that is Compendium of therapeutics for minor ailments. Minor ailments means which are for example little bit eye conditions like red eye, pink eye, blepharitis and all. So this particular book contains all the minor ailments. Third book is CPMA that is compendium of products for minor ailments. Means this particular book will contain all the products that is related to minor ailments. And the last one is CPS that is Compendium of Pharmaceuticals and Specialities. So this book contains all the pharmaceutical related information. How to access this RXTX? See, here is one search box. In this search box, you can write anything. For example, I have written diabetes over here. And as you can see that all the information related to diabetes will come and here is a choice that you can go for CTC only, CTMA only, CPMA only or you can go for all. So this is an option, there is some option in the RXTX, you can click on the options and you can find the information that is related to that particular book only. Next book is CPR. CPR is uh, one of the books which you can say highly recommended by many of the people and it is usually said that first 18 chapters of this book have approximately 18 per sorry 80 percent of the PEBC syllabus. I personally chose that particular book for pharmacokinetics as well as pharmaceutics. For pharmacology I chose Katjung. Katzung is one of the books in which you can get all the drug mechanism of actions quite well elaborated. No need to go for the first line, second line that is given in that particular book or any other book because these books are no, not according to Canadian guidelines. So for the first line, second line, third line options, better to go to the CTC and uh, you can say RXTX but yes you can get the drug related information quite useful which is quite useful actually you can get in this particular book. You can choose APHA that is complete review for FPGEE. It is also one of the good books for the competitive examinations for foreign countries. You can choose those particular topics which are required in PEBC and you can skip the other topics which are specifically for USA based. And this is one of the good books which I should say that it is highly recommended and I personally chose that book for some of the particular topics. For example, for uh, like diabetes, hypertension, just to get overview. There is one another book that is for pharmacotherapy. A physiological, a pathophysiological approach that is by Dipiro. It is one of the, one of the you can say the good books which is also recommended by PEBC as well. You can go to the link that is given in the description and there you will find the complete list of references, list of complete references and the Dipiro is one of the references given by the PEBC as well. 
now come to the calculations one of the crucial parts to be uh, to clear the pbc evaluating examination for calculations ansel is one of the good books and what i want to say you that just go to those calculations or the formulas of those calculations only which is given on the pebc official website because ansel book is one book big book and you don't have enough time to go for the all of the calculations so better to go for the like dilutions and concentration related formulas and some of the formulas specific given on the pebc website try to do the calculation related to those only for management it's pharmacy management in canada by hind marsh at all it is one of the books which is related to management in the pharmaceutical or you can say pharmacy practice and this book contains all the information related to ethics laws as well as scenarios means in this particular book you can find out the judgment related to particular scenarios and how you have to handle all the situations according to the given conditions last but not the least there are some online references for the uh, some of the agencies for example if there is if you want to learn about public health agency of canada then better to go to the official link of that particular agency apart from that if you want to know anything about any other agencies or for example there is canmed or any other related to the same better to go for those particular online links to get the latest and up to date information what i want to say in a brief that go to all those references which i have mentioned but try to do the things which are required only means no need for example no need to go for the whole of the ansel book for the calculation just go for the required calculations like the same way just go to the specific point in specific book of dipero or katzang which is required to you according to pebc because in the last you have to answer the a question according to judgment as well as the first choice of drug second choice of drug which won't be get uh, which you won't be get in the dipero or any other book this information will be will be given to you or will you can get this particular information through the rx tx or online ctc and all i have passed my pebc ee in my first attempt not only in the first attempt but also through the remote proctoring when i was in india and i had to appear through remote proctoring only i have shared those experiences as well as the 24 hour routine which i chose during my pebc evaluating examination so if you want to know anything related to that particular thing my experience my 24 hours routine and my remote proctoring experience as well because if you want to appear in pebc evaluating examination and because of any reason you haven't get any of the centers then remote proctoring is the only option so better to check the experience of remote proctoring as well thank you have a great day